Hey guys, and welcome back to Resident Evil. Now, I think we're pretty much loaded. Let's go hunt us down a William. William! I'm coming for you, bro. Let's do this thing. Now, <laughs> uh, let's open up with a flamethrower. Got a lot of ammo for it. William! You really think you're going to take him out with a little uh, pop gun like that? With a few acid shells. Tell me everything, right from the start. The acting is actually so good. You don't get away that easily. Good God, William. What have you done? So you made this monster. We made the G-Virus, but we never intended to spin it any way you want. You're still responsible. Oh, oh that's so brutal. I don't think that little Matilda is going to do much, buddy. Oh man, he looks so cool. Right, let's warm him up. I have no idea how, yeah, the, the trouble with the flamethrower is you have to get way too close to him to use it effectively. Run, run, run. I knew we were dead there. So, <clears throat> we've learned something here today. Flamethrower is not really very good for him. Right here. And I suppose we could use it in some circumstances. Hmm. Alright, let's try that again. Oh man, do we really have to do this again? Uh, yeah, I guess we could use the Magnum. We can switch between them, to be honest. Okay. One. Let's see that eye of yours, buddy. Oh, God. That is where it's at. Oh, do we not have any flash grenades? This is going to hurt. Should have brought some flash grenades. Can't quite get under his... Under his arm there. Nice. Come on. Come on, buddy. Come yeah, man. Oh, this is kind of where you want this. So we should. Okay, yeah, the flamethrower just really doesn't burst his... Uh... The flamethrower doesn't pop his eyes. 
so that's kind of an issue. Have a grenade. Come on. Yeah. Whereas the Magnum, and I assume the shotgun, actually, are we... Why aren't we healed? I thought I used... I don't know. Alright. So let's roast him down anyway. I'm assuming that the flamethrower does damage all over him. But I don't know for sure. To be honest, the flamethrower doesn't look like it does anything to him. Which... I don't know. Ooh, God! Yeah, flamethrower is just not effective at all. Oh! Maybe it was. Maybe the flamethrower was effective. Hmm. Not sure. I'll have to watch that footage back, but we definitely used um, a med kit. Uh, well, we used the herb mix, but it didn't work. Oh, more flame for a fuel. Don't mind if I do. I'm not sure on the flame for it. It seems like it's really good against the right enemies, which, you know, obvious, I suppose. But, against, um, like, tougher enemies? I don't know. I'm not sure. Now, obviously, we don't have to run around and do this. And grab these supplies, because we probably don't need them. Well, we definitely don't need them. But, I don't like leaving stuff behind. Wow, we have a lot of 45 ACP. Too much 45 ACP, really. <laughs> wow, what's that? 68 rounds. Jeez. Just give her a first aid spray. Feels worse. Believe me. Talk about what you said. I don't know how much I believe. Just tell me he'll destroy that G sample. No, it's evidence. It's going to the FBI. <laughs> you trust that bitch. What's that supposed to mean? Leon, you're a doll lad. Virus is gonna go to the highest bidder. Oh, bullshit. I hope you're right. But if the G virus gets into the wrong hands, yeah. Well, look how uh, things went when it was in the right hand. So it getting into the wrong hands is kind of a concern. Um, right. Let's get out of here anyway. Self-destruct. Oh, Leon. It's time to go, buddy. Oh. Did, uh, did someone smash through that door? I didn't notice that before. There's her with her Acme hack gun. I was just thinking about you. That makes two of us. I was getting worried. No, we make a good team. I gotta ask you something. The way's clear. Please, tell me you got it. Oh, I got it. Let me verify the G sample. 
I ran into Annette. She claims you're not FBI. Why couldn't you just handle this? Why are you doing this on a bridge? Because I realized, as much as I wanted to trust you, I didn't. I really hoped it wouldn't end up like this. So that's all this was. I was just some pawn to you. Look, I'm just doing my job. And I'm doing mine, so drop that damn gun. I'm taking you in. Hand over the sample, Leon. I don't want to hurt you. I don't think you can. Well, there goes G. So you think? Hold on. I think I can. Forget it. Shut up! I've got you. It's not worth it. Don't do this. So much heavier than it was in the original. Like the original was just like cringe. Whereas that was actually quite heavy. With those heavy piano chords as well. Yeah, probably uh, uh time to go, Sheriff. Just saying. Right, let's get the frick out of here. Good thing uh, Ada used a hackomatic. Yeah, because we don't have the clearance for this. All right, let's go. Let's go, big guy. Come on. Hey, Leon. I don't want to upset you, buddy. All right, and I don't want to get your hopes up either. But I have a feeling she's just fine. <clears throat> I love the way he holds the gun. It's so stupid. Uh, accuracies for chumps, I guess. You know what? We will have another F8 spray because Nine why not? Minutes until detonation. Who's that? Clear. Leon, you're down here too. Yeah, but the whole place is coming down. Listen to me. You need to get out fast. Yeah. There's a way out. We can make it. Where are you now? Claire, are you still there? Leon? Hey, Leon, you're breaking up. Forget about me. Just get out of here. Right, it's finally on. We've got this, buddy. We've got this, buddy. Actually... Used a lot of shotgun shells here. We don't need that. Alright, let's go, big guy. Let's go. Damn. Big bada boom. Um, we really don't need that. Uh, 
Oh, wow. Got more shotgun shells than that. That's fine. We have... more ammo than we can shake a stick at. We've got 40 shotgun shells. Plenty. Let's go, buddy. Let's go. Alright. Let's get your running shoes on, neighbor. Out of the way, my friend. Out of the way. Oh. Oh, herbs. Uh, what is our health? Yeah, we're how you use a herb. There we go. Almost home. Home and dry. Oh, shit. I've actually forgot about you. Uh, shit. At least that door's not locked. Like it is with Claire. So that's something. I guess. Right, just keep running, Leon. Oh, yeah. I remember this bit. X! Damn you! Uh oh. He's really getting knocked around. I hope nothing happens to his control uh, belt. What do they call them? Control belt? I can't remember what they call them now. Control belt. Limiter belt or something. Stop them from evolving out of control. Really? Right at the end of the game, you give me 45. ACP. I uh, don't need. We do need that, though. Ooh. I'm getting boss fight vibes, guys. Let's plug that in. Let's go. Guess who's back? Back again. X is back. Tell a friend. Ooh. Well, let's hope Claire's already on the train. And that looks awesome. Alright, Leon, this is going to get pretty rough, brother. I'm just saying. Guy looks fucking cool, though. Um... Right. Now, yeah, he's got quite the reach on him, too. I actually think, from what I can remember... From what I remember... You can't actually really hurt him here. Oh, God. He's got, like, a wicked triple... Triple hit there, though. Run, Leon. Uh oh, yeah, yeah. We can't hurt him here. We've just got a. Oh God. Really? I know you can destroy those blocks. Okay, we're just going to avoid him. Oh, he just destroys them. That's fine. Ow! I know he has an attack that you can deflect his hits with. But do you have to do, like, some damage to him or something? Yeah. Yeah, that you can knock him out of, I remember. Ouch! He's got a hell of a wide swipe as well. Maybe we have to do X amount of damage to him. I'm not sure. I 
don't think we actually got damaged there. We just got hit in the hit stun. Then we got damaged. Yeah, so that is just a matter of surviving. So you just have to avoid him. Oh, we're not even, Ada. That came... Whoa, that's an action shot. Um, ouch. Buddy, you're about to get fucking rolled over. Don't want to worry you. One shot. Oh, and that's the achievement for killing him with plenty of time to spare. Yeah, we could have done that so much better. If, um... Oh, nice. Yeah, we could have done that so much better if I had uh, concentrated more on avoiding him. Still, it doesn't matter. It's been like five seconds, Leo. And that's the first thing you think about after taking down, like, uh, a big evil, like, monster. A tyrant. I forgot we put her in that costume. We made it. Just like I said. Mm -hmm. Who's this? Sherry. Okay. <laughs> okay. But wait, there's more. What was that? I don't know. I'll go. You take care of Sherry. One last dance. We have the equipment. Let's go take him out. Ooh, what is what have we got here? We've got a knife. What else have we got? Gunpowder? Eh. We'll have it, I suppose. Uh, we're actually injured as well. Let's not go out of this injured. Go out of this without a freaking mark on us. Well, I suppose we're going to have a mark on us, but only a little one. Oh, wow, we were really injured. Fuck it, have that. Hey, buddy. What you doing? Now, William, quite frankly, my friend, this is getting ridiculous. This is absolutely ridiculous, Will. Now, it's worth noting that you can't actually hurt him here. Yeah, he does. You can't hurt him until right at the end. Well, we're not really feeding him bullets, Will. Leon. I'm feeding him fire. Come on. Yeah, he wants plenty. He is getting really warmed up right now. Oh, here we go. That's what we got to wait for. Boom, baby. Boom, baby. Wow. Still more. There we go. It takes more than two rockets to put down. Holy shit. Don't worry about it, ladies. I've got this. Uh, Leon. Leon. 
Our mutual friend is really not happy. Come on. Oh, that's so nasty. Like, how doesn't he get infected? Sayonara, motherfucker. <laughs> and that is the actual true ending. Which is mostly the same. But then you do kind of get this extra bit on the end. We actually just met last night. <laughs> yeah. That would have been one hell of a first date, though. Yeah, you have no idea. Look! He might be able to give us a ride. What if it's not just the city? Get Cherry out of here. Come on. <laughs> I love that bed. <laughs> day that would live another day by the grave. <laughs> so, is it over? Maybe. I don't know. But if it's not, we'll stop it. Whatever it takes. Yeah, you're damn right we will. As long as we stick together, we'll be fine. <laughs> I actually prefer. You guys can adopt uh, wait, what? We can get a puppy. And a parrot. I always wanted pets, but my mom said. I think your dad was messier than both of them, to be honest. I actually prefer the synergy between Leon and Claire. It's actually quite good. It could have been fleshed out a little bit more, but. It was way better than the synergy between Leon and Ada. I would have liked Leon and Claire to meet up a little bit more during the story. I think that would have been pretty sweet. Because in the original game, they actually did meet up a couple of times. Or was it once each? I can't remember now. Um, yeah, they did. Yeah, because they meet in the star's office. And then they meet in the hallway outside the library. So that would have been cool if that was in there. Well, technically, I suppose they met outside the, um, uh, well, the back gate of the police station. But it, it wasn't really the same. But so that is basically Resident Evil 2 remake. A remake done right. Really right. Now, I have played the DLC, uh, the free DLC, The Ghost Survivors. Didn't really like it. It's not my thing. Um, don't really enjoy that kind of gameplay for the same reason that I didn't enjoy um, Ghost Survivor. Ghost Survivor. The fourth Survivor. Um, I have completed it all, but I haven't, I, like, I haven't enjoyed it. To we say, um, I just find it incredibly irritating and frustrating. Um, if I play this game again, it will be on stream. Uh, I've got to finish it again on hardcore, but I don't know whether I'll do a hardcore run. I might do, I don't know to be honest. I've no idea. Um, I've got to get an S rank on hardcore, which is bloody hard. An S rank on hardcore is finishing the game in two and a half hours. That's hard. Like, I finished the game in... I can't remember what my best time was, actually. We'll have a look in a minute. I think it was... just under three hours with Claire. So... I know it can be done. It's just feckin' hard. You do have a little bit more time with Leon. 
Um, I guess because he has a lot more interactions with Mr. X. And Mr. X, well, he takes more time to deal with. Because you do have to hide away from him sometimes. So, yeah, I guess Leon might be a slightly easier character to get through in a quick time. And Spear is having a little um, <laughs> breakdown outside the door. But that's only because he thinks he's missing out at the moment. He'll be fine in a minute. So, yes. Let's have a little look and see what we got. I actually love this game. This game is great. I've got a B rank. Why don't we get an A rank? I think A rank is four hours and under. Yeah, that's probably why. So let's just have a little look at my records. Oh, wow. We've got a lot of stuff here. So, let's go for... Uh, oh. Oh yeah, I did this on the PC, didn't I? I was going to say, I haven't unlocked the extra mode. Actually, the extra mode where you're in the police stage, um, the beginning was called No Way Out. I haven't done that yet. But I have done these. Uh, these are a lot easier on the PC with mouse and keyboard aiming. Um, right, so hang on. Where do we go to... Cheers. Where do we go? Records. View records and unlockables. Concept art. Models. Oh, concept art. We haven't got some of these. Let's have a look at some of the concept art. It would have been nice if they had some of the original concepts art here as well. So you could contrast it. Ah, that's unused. Yeah. So look at that. That's like a... Like a sky car. To the Umbrella Laboratory. But I guess the Umbrella Lab wasn't going to be underground originally. In the remake, of course. That's interesting. The lighting is certainly different there. Stars, stars office. Got the briefing room. Ah, look. You got the original stars office there. There's the secret room underneath and the clock tower. Oh, there is the original clock tower there. A secret room under the stairs. It's the Kendo gun shop. I guess that's like the original concept for the gun shop. The top picture there looks a little bit more faithful to the original. The orphanage. Ah, the sewers. Now this looks a little bit different. Ah, wow, look at that. I would have liked to have seen more test tubes and things. 
But you get the feeling that the 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 nest was actually a small scale umbrella lab. Or are they all small scale umbrella labs? Hmm. Zombie concepts. Ah, the liquor concepts. Liquors look a little bit odd there, that standing up figure. Looks like his midsection is literally just strung and held together. A bit more of a rotting beast. Because um, liquors are what human zombies eventually will turn into. I don't know if it's all of them, but yeah, you uh, once you die as a zombie, you then mute. If they're keeping that as law, mind. Because yeah, uh, in the original Resident Evil One remake, of course, if a liquor dies, uh, if a zombie dies, it then slowly turns into a crimson head, and then uh, the crimson head will keep mutating into a liquor. Oh wow! Look at those. Oh, it would have been really cool if they'd like left some of this in there. And there's William. I quite like that, actually. The big bulbous eye. Slightly different model there. Slightly. And there's G3. G3 looks cool. You can still see his face. Can we like zoom in on these or anything? No, we can't. I was gonna say you can still see his face there in in the side, almost fully absorbed. And I guess that would be G five. That's pretty horrific. Right next to Leon there. At least I assume that's Leon. Um, just next to Leon's arm. Is that William's face? Oh, there's... Look, there's got William's face down there as well in the, the corner of the screen. That's interesting. Hmm. And, of course, Mr. X, the tyrant. It actually looks in these concepts here, apart from the one on the left... He's looking a little bit skinnier in those. Not quite sure. I, d I don't know if I like the fact he wears a hat. It just seems a bit strange. And there, of course, he is when he's lost his inhibitor belt. There's the hacking device, which I feckin' hated. The box puzzle, which was pretty cool. A little bit annoying because it's RNG, but cool. Made in heaven. Oh, these are all uh, Claire's. Oh, no, not all Claire's. Just logos and whatnot. Ooh. Ooh, Oh. Oh, you look at some of this unused stuff. Like, that's a zombie. That's... Yeah, I mean, that kind of reconfirms the zombie slowly turning into a, a liquor. But... But... At the same time, it looks like they skip the... Um, G, uh, what do you call it? The, uh, the crimson head phase. I like the idea of that zombie in the wheelchair as well. That could have been, like, interesting. Even if he was just in the lab somewhere, just, like, in a corner, like, you couldn't interact with him. Maybe it'd attack you if you get too close, but it couldn't actually move. And it was just like a gibbering mass of flesh in the corner. That would have been cool. And look at these weird, like, creatures on the right there. What's that about? So much, like, so many unused designs. 
And in the DLC as well, there was new zombies. There was the gas zombies. There were white heads, which are quite interesting. White heads are incredibly hard to put down and they regenerate. But they're fast as well. Hmm. They were fun. Gasfield zombies were a bit weird. I'm not sure how much of a fan I, I was of those. Oh, also, I've just noticed that. The uh, tyrant has the heart in the center. Like in the first game. I mean, that's a trait of the tyrants, but that's cool to see it there. Hmm. Hmm. Let's have a look at the models. So we've unlocked 54 out of 70. That's so cool. Not really a fan of Claire's uh, noir outfit. Leon's one's not too bad. Not a huge fan of her military outfit either. I do love that. And I do like her standard outfit for this game. It was cool. You got Ada. Ada cocktail dress. Sherry. Ah, the infected version of Sherry. Sherry the jacket. What else have we got here? Marvin Branner. Brian Irons. Annette. William! Oh, damn. Robert and Emma Kendo. That's harsh. Catherine. Oh, yeah. Catherine's the nurse's daughter. Uh, the nurse's daughter? The uh, mayor's daughter. Also, you actually find out in the DLC that Ben was um, Catherine's daughter. Catherine's girlfriend. Which is interesting. Because in the original, uh, Ada was claiming to be Ben's girlfriend. And then we got all the zombies. I wish they had gone into like the mutation of liquors a little bit more. Maybe if they're starting again, maybe they're going to have liquors as as more of a integral part going forwards. Because I always think that's the problem. Like they kept adding and changing stuff with Resident Evil. Now it's cool, you know, with every new game, add a, like a new enemy or something. But they don't need to keep adding new characters. We've got a huge list of core characters that everybody loves. And they just keep adding all these stupid new characters. G3. G4 is just a fucking mess. And G5. There's a lot of trickery going on with that. If you actually watch a uh, video, there's a reason with this model. There is a reason with this model that they show it from inside, not outside. It looks really weird. You can kind of see it a little bit there as the uh, metal of the train gets pulled away. You see these big massive donuts that he's actually made out of. He's actually made out of four donuts that spin around. And like, once you can zoom out and see the whole character model, the illusion's kind of broken how they make him. Yeah, you can see the donuts, like, spinning. There's four of those. There's so much, like, love and detail in this. 
And of course, we got most of the weapons. I do love how much effort they put into all of this. It's great. The M19 is a new one. Oh, wow, you actually see the round being loaded in as well. With the handgun slide back. Oh, it was a very nice bit of detail there. And then you've got the quick draw army, which is Claire's. Look at that. Loading the shells individually. Very cool. Very cool. The spark shot was a weird weapon. I was never really a fan of it, to be honest. Chemical thrower. I love the chemical thrower. Loved it. Lightning. The lightning hawk was a lot of fun as well. Even with all of its upgrades. Really enjoyed that. Anti-tank rocket. I like the way you see the tubes clear as each... Oh, there's actually a reload animation for it. Which is interesting because obviously you can't reload it. Hmm. Right, anyway guys, we're going to wrap this up because we've been going for like 47 minutes now, but it is possibly the final video I make of this game. If we do any more runs of this, it will be on my streaming channel. <sighs> Unless I get loads of people asking me to do like hardcore or whatever. But anyway guys, thank you very much. I hope you've enjoyed watching this. I have loved every second of it. As always, till next time. <laughs>